Hey guys, so today we have some fun stuff to try out. So we're going to be trying out the 5XL coffin tips. So these are the longest full cover tips in the world right now. And they are seriously, let me just see if you guys can see. They are so long. I'm really, really excited because the 5XL stilettos from Ian Alcator and from Apre, they were a little bit too sculpted for my nails. And so they weren't super comfortable, but these ones look like they're going to fit so much better and work for, for those of us that have flatter nail beds. We are also going to be trying out a Halloween poly gel kit from Model 1s. Last year I had ordered some of their Halloween stuff, but it didn't come in time. So I'm happy that this did. Their shipping seems to be a lot faster than than it was, so I'm really happy about that. So I also got a couple other things from Model Ones, so I'm just gonna go through that really quickly. So I did get a tip cutter because believe it or not, I don't have one of these because I never cut down the length of my nails. I've just never needed one, but I was like, it's probably a good idea to get one. And also I do wanna try to do some shorter nails for you guys and just switch it up, not always do the same thing. Ah uh, yes, some stickers. <laughs> I think that's it. Let's go through the poly gel kit though. I love that it came in this cute little bag. Got a green poly gel. I believe all of these are glow in the dark also. A blue. We got these clay pieces and they're all like Halloween themed. I love that there's the aliens and the eyes, the coffins. I love these. Well, I don't know what these are. What are these supposed to be? A light gouache? I don't I don't know. Anyway, very cute. Probably use the eyes of the aliens. An orange. We got this, it's like a, almost like a between a pink and a red. We also got some slip solution. So let's swatch these. The green, I absolutely love this one. It is so bright. It's almost like a yellow though. It's not quite this green, but it is very, very bright, like very fluorescent. The blue matches almost perfectly to the outside. Really like that blue. The orange, very bright. Oh my god. Um, okay, so this is not the same color at all. This is purple. Let me double check the listing. Okay, I see. I'm popping up, so it's what color, the outside color reflects what color it glows. That makes more sense now on the listing very accurate let's go see how these glow so as you can see they do all glow to the color that is on the actual bottles the reddish one doesn't show quite as much in person but on camera it is really really bright which i thought was really interesting I am going to be doing all 10 nails today because i got to go out in a little bit and i can't go out with baby hands or one-handed with nails. So I'm not going to prep my nails at all because I want these nails to last a day or two, not much longer. I found with the Apre Extend Gel, if you don't prep it super well, it will peel and so I'm not prepping at all. In fact, I'm gonna just put a tiny bit of oil on my nails also, just like a little bit. I'm just going to put a layer of this colored extended gel on my nails. Okay, let's pull these out. Oh my gosh, look at how long those are. Crazy. Look at how much better that fits my nail. Like it actually like fits on it now. Very happy about this. And they're so long. We're gonna be Freddy Krueger up in here. I'm really happy about it. I just wanted to take a second to give you guys my sincerest apologies for mixing up Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. I know Michael Myers is Halloween and Jason Voorhees is Friday the 13th. That was my bad. It was a long day, okay? <laughs> There's only so much monomer I can smell in one day before my brain just gets like all jumbled up for the rest of the day. <laughs> and I'm just going to grab out all of everything I'm gonna need. Even though these ones are flatter, I'm still gonna have to do a little bit of filing on them. Go on that, I'm gonna file like this edge right here and round that off. We are just going to work on these one at a time. I'm gonna start with a base coat. It's so hard because I don't have an exact plan. I wanna use the eyes and I'm just going to put 
some extra base gel where we're gonna put the eyes because I don't want there to be like any air bubbles or anything like that. Hopefully this will work out like I want it to. Hopefully you guys can see, see the like, I don't want that right there. So I'm gonna put just extra gel, like a little, I might flood it a bit if you will, because that is how you don't get that air bubble, which I really just don't like. So you can never make it go away. It won't look any better, top coat or anything like that. I'm just going to flash cure that. And I'm actually gonna go with this purple color. This poly gel is super thick. It could be because they've been sitting in a cold room all night, but it is a little hard to push around. Okay, I just went and got these heated up a little bit and they're so much more malleable now. Yeah, much better, much better. If you're having a hard time, just go and put it in front of your heater for like 30 seconds. Yep, see, so much easier. Okay, I should have just done that from the beginning. So it was time to post my newest YouTube video while I was doing this and you guys are so quick. Like it's been literally maybe two minutes. Okay, back to this. Look at how long I am dead. I'm like, like, I don't know. Let's move on. And now that these are softened up, should be much easier. I think I'm going to do the blue and purple on this hand and then the green, oop, the green and orange on the other. And then for this one, I'm just going to put one eye. And then I am just smoothing out the underside with some base gel before I put it on. I'm trying to figure out how to get this on without a mess. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it like you gotta be so careful with these because if they're crooked, there's no hiding that. Cuticles will definitely need some cleaning up, but we're on the right track. So I did these two. Let me finish the rest of this hand and we will get on to the orange and green. And here are the nails. So super long, I actually really love them. And they don't feel too bad actually. I feel like now that nails are going a lot straighter, they're not as hard to get used to. I used to have a hard time with long nails when a lot of the tips would do a curve and that was harder for me, but this is not as bad, not too bad. Okay, so now let's do the orange and green set. Then I'm gonna start off with the green because I want there to be more green than orange on this one. Again, it looks yellow to me, but that's fine. Okay, so we have all of our nails. Now I'm just going to clean up the cuticles and just sort of file off any like little bits on the edges and stuff like that. And here we are all cleaned up. These are so long. I'm actually doing just fine with them though, besides from just like playing with them like they're swords or something. This might be crazy, but I wanna try to do a French tip. I just wanna see how it would look. I'm putting on a base coat first. And I think I might use some sort of like black glitter one. So I'm gonna use one of these new nail liners from a car. So we'll see how this will work. And I'm not even sure how it will look on this. A little goopy. So let's see, I guess I just start like, it's actually really pretty. Okay, that's very interesting. I think I need to do a little lower. I'm gonna get a little bit out so that I can fill in without having to like do it with a liner. I actually really like that. I am going to do the rest of the nails with a French tip, but I'm just going to put on the base coat first. So these are actually fairly easy to do the French tip on. Could be the gel I'm using just cause it's pretty pigmented and thick. And so it's like not super easy to mess up. 
but going much smoother than I had thought it would. So pretty much during any time where you're like hearing music, I am listening to a podcast and I pretty much just finished the newest season of Dr. Death. I listen to so many true crime podcasts that I've pretty much listened to any major one and decided if I jive with it or not, or I am fully caught up. I pretty much play podcasts anytime I'm doing something that doesn't involve me talking or you know, just when I'm cleaning, cooking, driving. <laughs> um, so if you have any true crime podcast recommendations that aren't super popular, so nothing like Morbid, Crime Junkie, Case File, I'll Hire, Serial, you know, like the popular ones, please let me know if you have a recommendation. I would absolutely appreciate that. Okay, so as far as these ones go, I am pretty much done. I'm just going to top coat everything now. I also do want to just say I really actually like this McCart glitter liner. It, I think, is great for stuff like French tips and stuff. I don't think that the brush on it itself would be great for details just because this is a thick formula, but for stuff like French tips, I think it's actually going to be really great. In regards to this hand, I think we're going to go with a spider web theme. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. Why did I, why am I like this? For this, um, we're pretty much just gonna, you know, take the spider gel literally and, and just sort of act as if a spider has webbed my nails, if you will. I'm gonna probably cover up the alien. Almost looks like mummy nails too, but you know, and also I know spiders do not do this, but today it is. The spider I'm creating will do webs like this. And then now I'm gonna use these spiders from Secret Nail Affair, and I'm hopefully just gonna cover up this alien. We'll just pretend you can't see the alien at all. And then I'm gonna put another one on this finger. And then now I'm just gonna top cut everything. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this week's upload. I know it's way more than I normally would do, but I had so many ideas for Halloween that I really just wanted to <laughs> make sure I get them out and not just push them into November. Thank you guys so much for watching though. And don't forget there will be one more video and it will be a another Halloween subscribers draw my nails. And that one will be up, I'm hoping the 30th, but if not, it will be up the 31st. Everyone always wants to know when the next template is going up. I'm not sure yet. It will be later in November. I don't like to do too many too close together. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like. I asked you guys to make sure you were liking my videos as I felt like they weren't reaching and you guys have been. I really appreciate that so much more than you know. So I will show you guys the outside shots now. And once again, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again next time. Bye.